Check this out. Start with a shirt, add a sweater, and then finish it off with a coat. This is layering. It keeps you warm and it looks really good. If you've ever wondered how to layer properly, in this video, I'm gonna break down some simple rules for nailing it every time and show you five ways to do it. I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, where we are dedicated to giving you all the tips, knowledge, and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. This video is sponsored by Geology. Geology is a skincare regimen for men, and three things that I like most about the brand are one, it's not complicated, two, it's quick, the routine takes just two minutes in the morning and two minutes at night, and three, it's tailored specifically for you. So when you go to the website, it takes you through a quick 30 second diagnostic quiz. And then from your answers, Geology formulates and curates a series of products designed to give your skin exactly what it needs with no hassle. So you start out with a 30 day trial of four products. Right now I'm using the Everyday Face Wash, the Vital Morning Face Cream, the Repairing Night Cream, and the Nourishing Eye Cream. After that 30 day trial, you can continue with 90 day supplies of everything that you love either by subscribing, which is obviously more cost effective, or going a la carte. So I've enjoyed using these products so far and definitely recommend trying them out if you're looking for a quick and easy way to take care of your skin. If you're interested, I have a link and code down below. It's He Spoke 30 that you can use to save 30%, which makes it less than a dollar a day to get started. Let's get started now with our first layering tip, and that is to keep it to three layers max. Two is okay, Four, too much, it's too complicated and can look bulky. Three layers, pretty much the sweet spot and feels more complete than two, uh, in my opinion. So I started here with just a simple white shirt and then added in a lightweight wool v-neck sweater, which is a great layering piece. Works on its own and it's thin enough that you could also layer it under a blazer. Instead of a blazer though, I chose a lightweight wool top coat and the plaid here pulls in both the gray of the sweater and the blue of the pants. Our next tip is to have your layers go from thinnest to thickest. So thin layers inside and thick layers outside. It's kind of something that happens naturally, I find, when you're getting dressed, but it's always helpful to kind of understand exactly what's going on. I've got the same white shirt from the first look here, and I decided to take this outfit in a more sartorial direction with a sleeveless wool cardigan as my middle layer, and then the outer layer being this Glen Plaid sport coat in a beautiful fox flannel. Tip number three is to mix up and mix in different patterns and textures. This creates more interest visually, uh, it helps break things up and separate the layers, and it helps to create that feeling of depth. In this look, I've got both pattern and texture, uh, starting with the brown gingham shirt as my base layer, softer texture with the middle layer, it's a cashmere long sleeve polo, it's by Luca Filoni, and then some texture with the quilted barber vest. I decided to wear more of a dress pant here, but you could easily swap out those for dark jeans for something a little more casual and a little more rugged. Tip number four is kind of geared towards being ready for any situation, and that is to make sure that in addition to working together and being super complementary to each other, that every layer should also work on its own. Like when I go inside, I'm not going to be wearing the suede jacket. I'm gonna take it off. So I wanna make sure that the waistcoat and the shirt look good on their own. And maybe, maybe I eat too much uh, and the waistcoat just gets a little too tight. So if I take that off, I've still got a great looking shirt and an outfit that also looks put together. As I mentioned at the top of this video, layering is both practical and aesthetic. And you can kind of use that to leverage your approach to really reflect your personal style. Personally, I really like combining more casual and sporty items like the denim jacket here with pieces that are more elevated, such as the turtleneck and the top coat. I talked a little bit about mixing patterns in the third look, and if you're looking for some really easy rules and guidelines for mixing patterns properly, brush up with that video right over there. You know, whether it's layering or putting together shirt and tie combos, I know that this video will help you out. 